Welcome to 3D Analyzer software. Today I want to show you how to install Analyzer Manufacturing on your PC or laptop. Once you have downloaded your Analyzer installer, go to your Downloads folder. You'll find a file uh, called Analyzer Setup Exe. Double click this file. So you will see the user account control. Um, confirm that with yes. This is your start page here. Uh, select next. It'll get you through the license agreement. Confirm it with a I agree. Now there's several components that will be installed. Uh, one of them is the .NET Framework 3.5. If your uh, computer hasn't got this installed, as it is with a lot of uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines, it will download it from the net. And uh, so therefore, it, depending on your internet connection, uh, that can take a while, up to five minutes. In this particular machine, the .NET Framework 3.5 is already installed. So it will skip uh, through that part. Otherwise, it will uh, pop up a dialog box and it will show you uh, the progress of the uh, install of .NET Framework 3.5. So now just press Next. It will uh, ask you for the destination folder. We leave this as the default. It will be um, installed in the C Program Files folder. So we click on Install. So it will install all the prerequisites. Some of them take a little bit longer. Now that's basically, now it's complete. You just click on finish. Now click on the Analyzer 3D desktop icon here. So Analyzer Manufacturing will start up now and they'll ask you for uh, the license key. Once you registered your software and you paid for su your subscription, uh, you will receive an email uh, with the license code here. Um, just copy this one of your email. Control C, and here uh, enter it into your license key dialog box. Just paste it, Control V, and you can give it a machine description here. My PC is submitted. It should take a few seconds, and then the tells you that the license is successfully applied. So if you ever want to double check any uh, license data, you can go into the About box here. It'll tell you the license key number, the machine description, and uh, when it was activated, and also different validations. Or so you will see if you uh, if your license code has expired or so, it will give you a last uh, negative validation date here. And that means you need to uh, pay for a new license once it's expired. So that's basically all to a standard installation. If you don't have admin administrator rights when you install the software, your administrator will install it for you but the settings will go into his uh, account. So you need to do an additional step here. Uh, you're going to go to the C drive. You go to program files, uh, x86, and go to analyzer 3D software. You go to analyzer and then to configuration. And here you have to click on a post install. Double click this. Your registry will be updated to to your user settings as a, as your current user.
Again here, if you start to analyze it 3D, you will um, have to enter the license key. Control copy. Control V, machine description. Submit, and your license key will be activated. If you have an existing installation and you want to install an update of your software, or just repair it, uh, click on the installer again. Approve the user account control if necessary. Go to next. You agree, and now there's an, uh, another dialog box coming up because it has detected an existing installation. So you can actually select which things you want to keep. So if you have custom scripts, for instance, uh, you can uh, update uh, all the other uh, components and you just keep your scripts so they won't be overwritten or so. Or quite often the database you want to keep but it really depends on your update. Uh, sometimes uh, if reports have been updated, maybe database needed to be an update too. So uh, uh, whatever you do, it sometimes it's best to overwrite everything, actually overwrite all settings. You end up with a complete new install. And then it just keep on going. And this is uh, the same procedure than we have had before. And we'll go through all those steps again. The open analyzer 3D again. And you need to you need to enter the license key again here. And that's basically all that's to it.